Hi, Joel. Hello. Hi, everybody. Um, we had a new release. It is 1.24. And as usual, I have a presentation for you to show. Okay, but um, first thing first, we have a tip of the day. And this type is the selector's tip. And okay. uh, we will use this time to uh, point you towards the best practices for selectors doc. Um, if you want to author and write very resilient and good selectors, please um, read it. It has a lot of good uh, practices and uh, advices. For people that don't want to click the link, what's one good uh, practice for selectors? Try to author your selectors in a semantic fashion and avoid nth, last, first uh, kind of functions because these are not semantics usually. Okay. I'll leave the rest to the doc. Yes. Uh, moving on. So we have quite some agenda. Uh, so let's jump right in into the Debian 11, which is the Debian 11 bullseye uh, support mm -hmm. uh, that we have now on the board. So our Linux support looks like this. Ooh, this is a the, big deal. This is a big it, deal. We've only done Ubuntu as the official supported platform for yes. a very long time. Yes, and uh, Debian is actually pretty popular in Python community, so mm -hmm. enjoy. Yeah, so uh, is anything else planned? Uh, nothing for the following. How, how hard was we'll it see. for you guys to do Debian? Or can I get my, my CentOS and my Fedora? We'll see. Uh, we didn't okay. explore CentOS or Fedora yet. <laughs> Debian was pretty, not that bad. Right. Ubuntu is Debian based, so yeah. we used a bunch of stuff there. Okay, next step, uh, multiple web servers. So this is Playwright configuration file. Mm -hmm. And uh, before this release, you could say like this web server and you can give us a configuration of a web server and it will launch this command and wait on this port uh, for a successful response before yeah. launching your tests. Mm -hmm. Well, now, in player at 124, you can pass in an array of configurations. Ooh. So this way you can, for example, start a backend and frontend and then mm -hmm. run tests against them. And yeah. after the tests are done, everything will be uh, turned down. Cool. Okay, good. And moving on. Wait, uh, can you, can you yeah. go back? Sure. So before I would, I, I, I forget the specifics, you can remind me, but there was a way to like get the URL of the web server. Oh, now yeah. you have to, to put it explicitly. In yeah, so you, you have to explicitly put the ports yeah. here, right? Yeah, so here we have a base URL down there. Yeah. That you can, you should put explicitly if you want to launch okay. multiple commands. Yeah, so so if we have, so you have to specify the ports if you're going to use multiple web servers. Yes, yes, yeah. for sure. Okay, component tests update. So this one, we will not go deep here, um, but just for your information, there are now before mount and after mount hooks for your components. Now, if you happen to be using component testing and you're playing with it, go head over to our release notes. There is an, a description and snippets you can try out and see how this works. If not, then just disregard. Okay, I will disregard. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Uh, next up, anonymous describe. Ooh. Now, a little bit of a story. Mm -hmm. Now, say, for example, you have this test file. It's foo.spec.ts. Mm -hmm. And you can use this test.use command to specify some options uh, file-wise. So mm -hmm. all the tests inside this file will have this color scheme. Alternatively, you can group your tests in a test suite and specify test.use inside this suite. Mm -hmm. And this way, all the tests inside the suite will have this option. Mm -hmm. Now, what we noticed is that many people actually come up with artificial names here. Well, this one is not that artificial, but sometimes you want to specify a bunch of options and there is no good name for them. Mm -hmm. So now you can just disregard and, you know, just have this test described without a name. Great. Small feature, but very convenient. Yes. Okay, and the very last part that we want to show in this video is actually our very new ambassadors program. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to our first ambassadors. Mm -hmm. 
So these are the people that produce high quality playwright content. So feel free to follow them on Twitter, on GitHub, ask them questions. Uh, here you can see they speak different languages. So you probably have someone who speaks your language or you will have some soon. Mm -hmm. If you are the one who produce high quality playwright content, please head over to this uh, playwright.dev community ambassadors link. And there are instructions how you can become another ambassador. Basically, you should reach out to Debbie, and this is all uh, Debbie's uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. And she'll, I, I don't know what she does, but uh, she'll explain you how to become one. I assume that it's very good to be an ambassador? Well, well, respected at least. Okay. I don't know all the bonuses and features. Okay. I assume there. there's some kind of uh, reason why I should become an ambassador. <laughs> if you're interested in playwright, and if you want to spread the word, and if you want us to promote your you know, talks mm -hmm. and materials, then that's a good reason for you to become an ambassador. Okay. I feel like I'm grandfathered into the What's New videos, so I don't necessarily need this. If you want to draw your face here, let okay. me know. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to whoever's there. <laughs> Okay, uh, there is actually one small thing I want to mention as well. Um, if you have uh, co-workers who plan to start using Playwright, now we have new Getting Started Guides, and this is uh, shout out to Debbie. Mm -hmm. Debbie updated all the Getting Started Guides, so you can point them towards these guides, basically Playwright.dev website, mm -hmm. uh, all good updated material. Cool. Okay, so this is it. Uh, as usual, if you like what we do, please uh, subscribe to our Slack, uh, follow us on Twitter, give us a star on GitHub, and uh, yeah, give us a like on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joel. Yeah. See you in 125. Yeah, see you in 125. <laughs>